I think school like that a long time ago was like probably just all the grades in one classroom and there's in like a nice like a shed or something. It was probably just like one building but then also like um, there might have only been very little teachers back then so there was probably only one teacher for every everybody in the grade. Oh, uh, I think um, 125 or 50 years ago, the school was like probably when building and like made out of rough materials that weren't so sturdy and like kids who knew different languages, it was probably hard for them. What distinguishes the Sunnyvale School District is certainly outstanding families and the students that they send to us and their real commitment not just to their own students but to the greater community and to the other students in their schools. The community has been outstanding in providing resources uh, to really allow the Sunnyvale School District to excel in serving students. You know, passing bond measures and parcel taxes to uh, augment uh, funding to support programs for kids. So one of the, you asked about memories, one of the fun memories is, is the opening of the Columbia Neighborhood Service Center. That partnership that leveraged funds from the city and a private donor and also a business partner, AMD. Um, it was very, very unique. Uh, what I like about my school the most is just that like how everyone like kind of just is like belongs here and that everyone is like treated kindly and like we're all equal. I remember when they would come into the office asking if anybody spoke Spanish and I would say si sí, and I would see their expression on their face being supported. Uh, one of the stories that I still remember is um, helping um, families unhoused, seeing the happiness of the student when I would say you're starting school tomorrow and, and seeing them jumping of joy was quite a, an experience. We believe as a school district that we can be different, become a, a school district that really focuses on equity, which means equitable outcomes for all students, um, and that's what we're really striving for. I came to the district and I noticed that there were no computers uh, on, like in the business office. And I talked to the controller at that time and she says, yeah, I think they just clutter up the office so, so we didn't have computers. And so, you know, going from that mindset to what we have today, uh, you know, where we have just total access to, to technology to support learning. And uh, uh, that's probably the, the biggest change. All of these factors that used to be seen as very much extra, and now we see them as integral into the experience for students, and really, in the end, students getting strong academic results. In another 125 years, maybe uh, the school might be like, if you're sick, you can like hologram into class or something. I just think, like, by then we wouldn't like have to go to school. <laughs> like, your brains could just go there for you. As I think about a legacy, I hope it is around just valuing people. So first of all, valuing the students um, that we have. And by that, I mean really getting to know them as individuals, um, as members of family, getting to know their families, appreciating those, those people as individuals for their differences and for their similarities. Just to have a human touch, a human look at the work that we do, um, ultimately, that's what's going to be make a difference for our students and ultimately for our community as well. Happy birthday, Sunnyvale School District! Happy 125th birthday, Sunnyvale School District. Feliz cumpleaños, Distrito de Sunnyvale. Happy birthday, Sunnyvale School District. 125 years looks great on you.